Most of us know that the closing credits of The Rise of Skywalker contained a number of very well-known Jedi from both the prequel and original trilogy eras. So who were the voices that spoke to Rey in her duel against Emperor Palpatine and what did they say? Before we uncover every single Jedi that appeared at the end of The Rise of Skywalker, remember to smash that subscribe button as well as liking the video and tell me down below which Jedi do you wish made an appearance in this scene? I still wish they showed up as actual force ghosts instead of just voices, but it was still incredible to hear the voices of some of the most memorable characters in the franchise. So let's get straight into it. To begin the list we have Obi-Wan Kenobi. In The Rise of Skywalker he was voiced by both Ewan McGregor and Alec Guinness. I'm sure I don't have to give a background to one of the greatest characters in Star Wars history, but I'll go ahead and give a brief summary. Obi-Wan Kenobi was the man who trained both generations of Skywalkers. After the death of his master Qui-Gon Jinn at the hands of Darth Maul, Kenobi took on the great responsibility of training the Chosen One, Anakin Skywalker. He was the master of Anakin Skywalker until his fall into the dark and his transformation into Darth Vader. After the events of Order 66, he was forced into exile on Tatooine where he looked over Luke and guided him into becoming the last Jedi. Ewan McGregor was brought into the studio to record the new lines for the scene, while old sound recordings of Alec Guinness were used to adapt his part of the line. Just as they had done in The Force Awakens, Alec Guinness's line from A New Hope was cut off where he says, afraid, and merged with McGregor's line to create his message to Rey. The message to Rey says, these are your final steps Rey, rise and take them, which is the conclusion to his message from The Force Awakens, where Obi-Wan tells Rey, these are your first steps. Obi-Wan provided Rey with her first real force encounter through this line as she picked up the lightsaber of Anakin Skywalker. On top of this, Alec Guinness's line Rey from The Force Awakens also appeared separately, further building Rey's strength in the light. After that we have the voice every fan of Star Wars wanted to hear, the voice that underlines the whole story of the Star Wars saga, but because of the significance of this Jedi I'm going to leave him until the end so that I can deeply explore everything he said and its significance to the film. That leads us to a Jedi who featured prominently throughout the Clone Wars series and appeared in one of the most shocking moments of Rebels, Master Luminara Unduli. Unduli was a Miri-Alan Jedi Master who lived during the Clone Wars and fought alongside her Padawan, Barriss Offee. In the closing days of the Clone Wars, Unduli's Padawan, Barriss Offee, attempted to frame the Padawan of Anakin Skywalker, Ahsoka Tano, contributing significantly to his fall to the dark. The actions of her Padawan were extremely significant in the fall of Anakin Skywalker because of the immense lack of trust that Anakin felt within the Jedi Order after those events. Unduli commanded the 41st Elite Corps in the Grand Army of the Republic and was later executed by the Empire after her capture during Order 66. Because she was captured instead of killed on sight by her clone troopers, Unduli was used as bait to lure in the Rebels crew who believed that she was still alive many years after the Jedi Purge. Luminara Unduli was played by Mary Oyaya in Attack of the Clones, but in The Rise of Skywalker she was voiced by her Clone Wars voice actor, Olivia Darbo. Her message to Rey in the film was, The Light, find the light Rey, encouraging Rey to use all of her strength in the light to rise up and fight her grandfather, Emperor Palpatine. Following that is Kanan Jarrus or Caleb Doom from Rebels. Doom was one of the only Jedi who managed to escape the Jedi Purge of Order 66 going into hiding following the fall of the Order. Doom remained extremely secretive about his true identity fearing that the Inquisitors of the Empire would track him down and execute him. He chose to primarily use a blaster throughout his time in hiding after the Purge keeping his lightsaber in two separate pieces attached to his belt. He eventually found a boy named Ezra Bridger who was extremely strong in the Force taking him on as a Padawan to continue the tradition of the Jedi Order. In the Rebels TV series he is voiced by Freddie Prince Jr who reprised his role for the Rise of Skywalker line. His message to Rey states, You are not alone Rey, let it lift you. In the heart of the Jedi lies her strength. His lines are delivered in multiple parts split between the messages of the other Jedi. After that is former Grand Master of the Jedi Order, Yoda. The Jedi Master has now featured in all three trilogies imparting his wisdom on whoever is in need. As the master who led the Jedi during the Great Purge, and as the one who trained Luke on Dagobah, Yoda was a perfect voice to have show up in The Rise of Skywalker. As always, he was voiced by the incredibly talented Frank Oz, with his message to Rey being, Alone never have you been, rise in the force. Many people have said that this line doesn't really fit Yoda's speech pattern perfectly, and I do have to agree with that somewhat, but it is still definitely something I can see Yoda saying. 
Following that is a true Jedi legend from the prequel trilogy and the only man who believed that Anakin truly was the Chosen One after finding him on Tatooine. Qui-Gon Jinn was the master of Obi-Wan Kenobi, known for his opposition to the teachings of the Jedi Council. Qui-Gon believed that the Force was to be communicated with directly and not necessarily through the conduit of the Jedi Council. Because of his stark differences in belief with the Council, he was never granted a seat but was granted the rank of Master. Qui-Gon died in his duel with Darth Maul on Naboo, but because of his affinity with the Force and the fact that he had been training in secret for many years, he was able to re-emerge as a Force ghost, teaching Yoda how to do it himself. In The Phantom Menace, Qui-Gon Jinn was played by Liam Neeson, who again took on the role in The Rise of Skywalker, delivering the following message to Rey. Every Jedi who ever lived, lives in you now. We stand behind you, Rey. Rise. As the Jedi who first discovered the secrets behind Force Ghosts, Qui-Gon's appearance was a necessity in the final battle of the saga. Next was legendary Jedi Master and member of the Jedi High Council, Mace Windu. Mace Windu was one of the most formidable Jedi Masters of his generation, being characterized by his distinctive purple lightsaber and unique fighting style. Mace Windu was one of the only Jedi Masters who embraced the dark side of the Force without falling to it, even utilizing some of its less powerful Force abilities. Windu fought as a Jedi General for the Grand Army of the Republic in the Clone Wars, liberating the planet of Ryloth and directing many other battles throughout the war. His actions in part led directly to the fall of Anakin Skywalker to the Dark and the destruction of the Jedi Order. His lack of trust in Anakin, coupled with his refusal to grant him the rank of Master, further fueled the inner rage within Anakin and continued his spiral towards the Dark. Furthermore, his failure to arrest Sith Lord Darth Sidious in his office allowed the events of Order 66 to take place, leading to the fall of the Republic and the Jedi Order. Mace Windu was, of course, played by Samuel L. Jackson, who again took on the role in The Rise of Skywalker, delivering the important message, feel the force flowing through you to Rey. After that is Ahsoka Tano, former member of the Jedi Order and apprentice to Anakin Skywalker. She underwent her apprenticeship during the peak of the Clone Wars, turning her into a battle-hardened warrior with a sharp mind. Nearing the conclusion of the Clone Wars, Ahsoka was framed for the murder of a prisoner by one of her best friends, Barriss Offee, straining her relationship and faith within the Jedi Order. Her name was eventually cleared and she was acquitted of all crimes, but because of the betrayal and unfaithfulness that she felt, she chose not to rejoin the Order. The events of Ahsoka's exile and removal from the Jedi Order was one of the final straws that pushed Anakin Skywalker onto the path of darkness. It came at the end of the culmination of things that continued testing Anakin's faith in the Jedi Order. Ahsoka eventually went on to become an indispensable asset to the Rebellion after the rise of the Empire, fighting many harsh battles for them. Throughout the Clone Wars, she was voiced by the extremely talented Ashley Eckstein, who again reprised her role for the rise of Skywalker, telling Rey, as it guided us, finishing the message of Ayla Sakura. That brings us straight onto our next voice, Ayla Sakura. Sakura was a Twi'lek Jedi Master who served as a commander in the Grand Army of the Republic in the fight against the Separatist Alliance. She fought many battles leading the 327th Clone Corps throughout the campaign. Her clones turned on her at the Battle of Felucia after Order 66 was given to the squadron leader. Sakura was played by Amy Allen in Revenge of the Sith but was voiced by Jennifer Hale in the Clone Wars series who took on the role for The Rise of Skywalker. Her message was the opening line to Ahsoka's message telling Rey to let it guide you, referring to the Force. Following that is member of the Jedi High Council and good friend of Obi-Wan Kenobi, Adi Galia. She served as a general in the Clone Wars fighting alongside Kenobi in his hunt for Darth Maul. Maul's brother, Savage Press, brutally murdered her in front of Kenobi after they were taken hostage on Maul's ship. Although she is a lesser known Jedi, she still provided valuable insight and strength to Rey in preparation for her fight against Emperor Palpatine. In The Phantom Menace, she was played by Jin Clark and was voiced by Angelique Perrin in the Clone Wars series. For The Rise of Skywalker, Perrin was chosen to deliver Adi Galia's line as Jin Clark did not have a speaking role in The Phantom Menace, meaning that fans had never actually heard the voice of Clark. Her message was as follows. Rise, Rey. The next voice on the list needs no introduction. He is the chosen one himself, Anakin Skywalker, who later became Darth Vader. He became apprentice to Obi-Wan Kenobi after he was freed from slavery by Qui-Gon Jinn on Tatooine and begun his training at the Jedi Temple. Although he was the most skilled star pilot in the galaxy and a war hero for his efforts in the Clone Wars, he was denied the rank of Master by the Jedi Council. 
This, along with many betrayals and a lack of trust from within the Jedi Council, culminated in his turn to the dark side of the Force under Sith Lord Darth Sidious. As apprentice to Emperor of the Galaxy, he fought to destroy the Rebellion and turn his son, Luke Skywalker, to the dark side of the Force. He eventually redeemed himself, sacrificing his own life to save that of his sons and kill his former master on the second Death Star. Anakin's message was delivered to Rey through the same man who played him throughout the prequel trilogy, Hayden Christensen. His message urges Rey to bring balance to the Force, saying, Bring back the balance, Rey, as I did, further telling her, The Force surrounds you. This line finally confirms what became a grey area around the true identity of the Chosen One. While George Lucas always intended for Anakin to be the Chosen One, many fans speculated that Luke may have been the true Chosen One after the redemption of his father. That leads us to the man who trained Rey on Arcto and provided her with the guidance necessary to become a true Jedi, Luke Skywalker. Growing up on the remote desert world that his father was once enslaved on, Luke was eventually discovered by his father's former master, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Having saved the galaxy from the destructive power of the Death Star and having brought redemption to his father, Luke was able to continue the traditions and customs of the Jedi through his new academy. After the new Jedi Academy was burnt down by Kylo Ren, he exiled himself to Ark To, vowing to shut himself off from the Force and reflect on his failure as the last Jedi. After being found on Ark To by Rey, he was able to begin training her and impart his knowledge and wisdom into her so that she would be prepared to begin a new Jedi Order. Luke was of course played by Mark Hamill, who told Rey that the Force would always be with her. It was his final message from her master that allowed Rey to rise up and defeat her grandfather, Emperor Palpatine. Although Rey was also apprenticed to Leia after Luke's death, her voice did not feature in this scene. Let me know in the comments down below if there should have been any other Jedi voices included in this scene, or any that should not have delivered a message to Rey. Thanks again for watching, remember to smash the subscribe button and leave a like for more awesome content just like this. Cheers guys.